In Commitment 2024, with less than 100 days until the presidential election, there is a new push to win over GOP voters who no longer support former President Donald Trump. Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign launched Republicans for Harris on Sunday. West Shoes, Christina Watkins, live in studio. Christina, you talked to one of the co-chairs leading the movement here in Florida. I did. His name is Rich Loges. He told me he voted for former President Donald Trump in 2016 and in 2020, but this time he's going in a very different direction, investing his energy and his support to make sure Vice President Kamala Harris ends up in the White House. If you saw Rich Logis in 2016 or 2020, you'd likely find him at MAGA rallies, wearing MAGA gear and supporting all things Donald Trump. Coming into MAGA, I, I, saw, I saw the opportunity to be a part of a historic movement that in fact would change the ways of Washington. After voting twice for the former president, Logis says he's switching sides this election and plans to vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. Why? Mr. Trump has pitted complete strangers against each other. He has divided millions of Americans in their relationships. He has torn asunder families, communities, places of worship. And I know that he has because at one time for many years, I helped him divide. Logis is now the co-chair for Florida Republicans for Harris. It's part of a national effort the VP's campaign launched on Sunday. When you think about Republicans for Harris, she has been able to unite left, right, and center. And this is a moment in our history where unlikely but necessary alliances are required. Logis admitted it could be hard to win Florida because there are nearly a million more registered Republicans compared to Democrats in the state. But they hope to sway the three and a half million people with no party affiliation, those who may be stuck on which way to go. That we have to ask ourselves, is someone like Mr. Trump who has intentionally divided, is that someone who we want leading the country? Is that someone we think can offer solutions to all of these everyday worries and concerns that most Americans have? So in response to this movement, just within the last hour, I talked to the chair of the Orange County GOP. All in response to this Republicans for Harris movement, Erin Huntley told me there's so much more enthusiasm for the party, and she believes it'll come down to data and policies. Elections are math, and that math equation shows me that Republicans will turn out for President Trump and elect all of our Republicans up and down the ticket. And even here in Orange County, we're seeing a lot of momentum on the Republican side. If you look at the data over the last 12 months. Huntley says the GOP is actually celebrating in Orange County because they registered more than 9,500 new Republicans within that window within the last 12 months. And she expects that trend to continue across the states. Jesse and Michelle, back to you.